Welcome to this demonstration of MCP Editor Features Part 1. This video is part of a series of videos which explain the functionalities available to developers for modernizing ClearPath applications using ClearPath MCP IDE for Eclipse. Let's get started. Select and double click on a desired file from the MCP Explorer view. For this demo, we open up a COBOL 85 file. The MCP editor of the IDE is designed to create and modify MCP symbol files. Each line in the editor contains a text field, sequence number field and a mark ID field. Each language has its own specific language format. The fixed length marker marks the maximum length of each line in the text field of the source file. I is used as the fixed length marker in the horizontal ruler. If we type information beyond the column marked with I, then the subsequent text is considered invalid and appears in red. This error must be corrected before saving the file. Dirty marker. When the file is edited, a star mark appears on the left of the file name in the editor. This is called the dirty symbol. Show line numbers. To view the line numbers of the file, in the editor, right click on the taskbar of the file and select Show line numbers option. The line numbers get displayed. Go to line number or sequence number. To jump to any specified line or sequence number in a file, click on Navigate, Go to Line. The Go to Line dialog box appears. We then select the sequence number or line number option and specify the number that we would like to jump to. Click on OK. Now the cursor points to that line or sequence number in the editor. Changed Line Marker When a line is modified in the editor, a star mark appears on the taskbar of the editor. This is Changed Line Marker. Syntax Highlighting MCP Editor supports syntax highlighting of various language elements, such as reserved words, strings, comments and numeric literals to make the symbol files easier to read. We can also change the color and font. Content Assist This feature reduces the number of keystrokes we must type to create the code. It provides predefined keywords and templates for all supported MCP languages. In a file, after we type a few characters, press Control Spacebar to display all the keywords and templates that begin with those characters. We select a particular keyword or template and hit Enter. Undo Redo The changes made on the file can be undone by clicking on the Edit menu and selecting the Undo option. We can find related shortcuts of this operation along with the menu items. Any of the undone text can be redone by clicking on the Edit menu and selecting the Redo option. Normal cut, copy and paste functionalities applicable to Windows are also supported. Now, let's save the file by selecting the Save option from the Toolbar menu. The file gets saved and the dirty marker is removed. For any information regarding the IDE, please have a look at the Help document. For this, go to Help, Help Content, Unisys Composite Application User Guide. This ends the demo on MCP Editor Features Part 1. Thank you. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information. Unisys and ClearPath are registered trademarks of the Unisys Corporation. All other marks referenced in this video are acknowledged to be trademarks or registered trademarks of their respective holders.